Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you once again. As Bro Sancho prepares to play his, well, I'd call it a game, but that might be overstating things. Um, I'm going to get a couple more things done here. We've got quite a few done. I say quite a few. We've got many donations to clear out after that last one. Uh, Sammy Corgi sends $50 saying, It'd probably be bad form, but if I donated to kill the animals during Beethoven the Second, but like Regina, I'm going to do it anyway. Thank you, Sammy. Picky33 sends us $10 and just says, Rough, rough. Five dollar donation from Tane. Millie says, "I want that Beethoven VHS." Uh, you don't actually have to um, specify that you want a certain prize to go for a certain prize. You are automatically entered into any prizes that are viable whenever you make your donations that you meet the minimum bid for. So please, instead of like specifying that you want your do uh, donations to go towards a prize, please, uh, please put that towards various. Apparently, Bro Sencha needs to be drunk to play this game. <laughs> or are you already drunk, Bro Sencha? I have $20 from an anonymous donor. It's probably good that you're anonymous because you actually kind of are being associated with this game. Telegram for the runner with no name. I'm glad the, tel the town with no name is finally being showcased at AGDQ and that more people can experience the pinnacle of electronic entertainment medium. And it's for a good cause, no less. My money goes towards saving the beer. What's up? I uh, I've already. Uh, uh, Bruce is going to throw it to me at the right time. So. Do we really need HD for this game? Like. <laughs> Hope. I have twenty dollars from Popomatic, who says if tying games are considered less than the games that they are based on and dog films are so bad that they get the director dumpster treatment, what does that make Beethoven second? I'm not entirely sure, but I think it might be the best argument for killing the animals I've ever seen. 
Keep up the good work. Thank you, Popomatic. So does that mean the rounds on you, Brasentia? <laughs> so we we have we have witness on the stream that the next round is on Brasentia. <laughs> Mine's a pint of vodka. What? <laughs> oh hey, I can hear myself. <laughs> Wait, are all mics on? Hey. Yeah, I think so. All right, I, I'm still not hearing sound from the game though. Let me play through this again. I'll, I'll just let this play until sound starts showing up. I, just, I, I love watching that guy <laughs> remove his face every time. You just know he was like stoked when he figured out that effect oh, in the, the video editor. <laughs> I did not one that would have been huge. Uh -huh. All right, some, some, so some the making beats. of the town with no name. So just as an explanation, this is a point and click. And honestly, out of all the games that are speedruns, this is one of the least of them. Huh. So I, I don't think you'll need to expect highly technical gameplay except for one or two places. There's a two-frame trick, at, or two-frame thing that I got to do later on. It's stupid that there's a two-frame thing and a point-and-click, but yeah, that's what I'm going to do. This is, I, I'm calling this cutscene percent because um, the cutscenes are what make this game actually enjoyable at all. So um, I'm skipping the boring cutscenes and the cutscenes that generally um, you don't even care about. So uh, that, that's what's going on with this run. Okay, faceless guy is back. I think we're back as well. Yeah, he's got. And with that, I think it's time for the town with no name. Yeah! <laughs> Down with no name, people! Enthusiasm! No name. <laughs> okay. Also, as you know, there's a tutorial. This was on the Amiga CD, and the tutorial is still for the Amiga CD, even though this is the DOS port. So, um, they, they didn't really change much. So, we're going to go ahead and start in three, two, one, go. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that man. sound effect, oh my god. So, basically, we don't know who this guy's name is. This town has no name. It's town with no name. Um, warning, headphone users, you're going to die a couple times during this run. That's okay, just die. Oh. Um, probably, yeah. The I don't think given a name. The spider's dead. Uh. <laughs> That's us, by the way. This is the weirdest Dr. Katz episode ever. Uh-oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> Get wrecked, kid. So, that's actually the any percent run right there. Um. <laughs> nice work, nice work. The good thing about that is that if you go to begin game, you get to skip all that as well. So we're back in here, back to the town with no name. He's going to take a look around. Look at this shady area. His eyes actually move here, so it's kind of cool. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this was actually awesome in 1991. Okay, I think I got him. Did I? <laughs> Did 
did, did, did you? Nope. It's like all my MS Paint nightmares come to life. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, so Evil Evil Eb is dead. This guy explains a bit. That was the first boss, by the way. Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, he's killed Evil Eb's littlest brother, and that means trouble. Okay, Evil Eb's littlest brother. I killed. Uh, there's Abe Lincoln. <laughs> Okay, so we are going to go to the blacksmith because the blacksmith has some interesting stuff in there. <laughs> this music is good, by the way. <laughs> so, cigarette dude out there who explained that we killed Evil Eb's littlest brother is right there. Ooh. Drama. Let's talk to him. Let's find out what he has to say. Come on. Hi. I'm new in town. Are you from around here? <laughs> no. He said no. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, let's go ahead and shoot him. Man's gotta know his own limitations. This guy has wisdom. Okay, so that's a bad ending. There we go. In the graveyard. We don't blah, blah, blah. I'm there. It's very descriptive. By the way, this was made by British people. The developer, one of the developers of Carmageddon actually worked on this. Um, <laughs> Shout out to my somewhere. fellow Brits. Does he respond to your tweets about this game? Yes. Um, no, he doesn't respond about this game. He responds to Carmageddon tweets, but not this game's tweets. So, okay. I actually need to shoot this guy this time because I missed that this last time. There we go. <laughs> I love the sound effects. They're so beautiful. Oh. Dang, that's torn it. Is he 2D? <laughs> He's kind of 2D, yeah. That's a lot of blood, though. He's dead now. He's killed. I, I would like, like to take a moment to remind people that this game was purchasable for money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it sure was. Okay, so we are going to go to church. Oh, sorry, headphone users. <laughs> This music's intense. Okay, so let's sit down for a little while. Let's see what the pastor has to say to us. <laughs> I doubt if you will find peace now to kill Evil Eb's littlest brother. The rest of the gang will probably come after you and gun you down viciously. Still, I'm... So make sure that Mr. Diablo, the Undertaker, finds a nice spot for you outside. Uh. Thank you. <laughs> Yo, this game is amazing. <laughs> I. <laughs> Meanwhile. <laughs> <laughs> I genuinely like this game, by yeah. the way. I love this. I think it's hilarious. Um, town, town with no name welcomes careful riders. No riding too quickly, okay, guys? <laughs> by the way, this vulture has Pokeball eyes. Like, seriously. Okay. Telegram for the man with no name. So, I have to kill a lot of people. This is going to be nasty. Is it nasty? Yeah, nasty head. Brother, you killed him, senor, so I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> By the way, the sheriff's hat is awesome. All right, boys, take ten paces up the street, then turn and shoot. You don't ever get to see him, though. It's really sad. Okay, time to time to kill this dude. He is not gonna live. Okay. <laughs> Caramba! That really hurt. Oh, I've got a follow one now, so bye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, Abe Lincoln. 
Well, it's Mr. Diablo, The Undertaker. Okay, so I want to go to the stable next. That's right, I gotta go get myself a horse. So, let's go to the stable, find out what's there. By the way, this horse is probably my favorite character in the game. He's adorable. I want to own a horse like this, okay? <laughs> Most adorable horse in a game, okay? Epona, <laughs> nothing compared to this guy, okay? So let's steal him. Come on, steal horse. <laughs> Never mind. Come on. Meanwhile. Okay, so Zippy Zeke comes in. This guy is the scariest guy, okay? This guy is really hard to kill <laughs> for a point and click, especially when you're using a mouse that you don't normally use. Well, come on, and get me the transmission, and I will kill Zippy Zeke. Telegram for the man with no name. What's the point of the telegram if he's already there? I don't know. <laughs> I really like that animation. There we to keep Got using it. it. Also, as you notice, Mr. Diablo doesn't come back. It's just the Grim Reaper 2D style showing up. I don't know. There's no consistency in how people die. Just cutting out the middle man. Yeah. Okay, time to go to the general store. Time to get some goods here. Let's see. Now, Rosentia, yes? I hate to ask this question. Go ahead. It relates to the speed run of the town with no name, but... How do you trigger these fights? How do you trigger them? Like, that you click. <laughs> that <laughs> grin. I don't trust that guy. I don't know why, I just don't trust him. He's got a special offer, though. Okay, let's just browse. Is I it a used car? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't want me to browse. Okay, we'll buy your special offer. This... I don't know, this joke's kind of stupid, but whatever. We'll buy it. This is the stupid joke. It's a baked bean. I bought a baked bean. That's all. I'm not going to buy 425. That's, that's enough. Go away, stupid guy. Okay, rush back outside. So yeah, the, the basic mechanic of fighting these guys is you put your arrow over them is, and you click. And they die. It's, but if you don't do it fast enough, you die, okay? So it, it's pretty intense. This next guy has actually killed me a few times, even though he just stands in one place. Sometimes if the mouse goes off the screen, okay, if the mouse goes off the screen, it's hard to get it back on, and this guy's in the corner, so I just got to make sure to not get it. Okay, there we go. Almost went off screen. That was scary. Okay. Now we're heading to the saloon, everyone. You remember your lines, right? I think okay. so. Cool. So I'm donating $10 for every drink I get from the bartender. Um, so hopefully I don't have to get a whole lot. Well, for, for the charity, it would be good if I got a whole lot of drinks, I guess. But... Oh yeah, this music is pretty intense. There's a lot of good stuff in the saloon. Saloon is the best place, okay? So, let's go ahead. I'll do the countdown in just one second. Come on. Three, two, one. Get, Get me a drink, drink, bartender. Look at his eyes. <laughs> Okay, this part's scary. Yes, I got it! Ugh. Two frames, okay? Two frames to catch that freaking drink. Oh. Anyways, we have to show the one where you miss it, you know? So I get two drinks, okay. So three, two, one. Give, Give me, me a, a drink, drink, bartender! bartender. <laughs> he really does not want to give away his drinks. Okay, I missed it. Blah blah blah. By the way, this guy has the face of pure sadness. <laughs> Party foul. <laughs> okay, this is the most so depressing speedrun I've ever seen. Let's go upstairs. Oh, 
Okay, now, as a, as a bit of a warning, it gets a little bit lewd. If you have little children, you may wish to turn off the sound in a little bit. Not quite yet. In a few minutes, I'll give you the warning there. Oh, I'm out of here then. Middle door. What's in the middle door? Oh no, it's a flying dagger. <laughs> There's usually sound there, but it hasn't been playing recently. Okay, that guy's dead. He threw a dagger. So, let's go in the last door. I want to go in the last door. What could possibly be in here? Oh no, what a time to discover I have a hygiene problem. <laughs> So the lady fainted, that's the joke, because of my hygiene. So let's go in the first It's door. a good joke. Yeah, it, it's a quality well joke. Well delivered. Mm -hmm. Uh-oh, it's a bath. How convenient that it's bubbling and for some reason. I don't know. Maybe baths in bars just bubble all the time. <laughs> <laughs> God, that looks relaxing. Okay, here's your warning. You have kids. You can turn off the sound for a little while, I guess. I don't know. But the rest of you have fun. I'll just sit back for a while. We don't approve, you understand. <laughs> oh, the best joke right here. Best joke. Man, it's got ammunition. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Lewd Bart's over. Whatever, so, it's just two consenting adults making love. What's the big deal? I don't know. Okay, hardest jump. Hardest jump right here. <laughs> Okay, now here's the one speed trick in this whole game. It's during the card game. Okay, now wild card Willie McVie is going to come out and be extremely hey, boring for a while. Wild card Willie McVie. I mean, look at him. He'll He's so ugly. He's going to explain some rules. Okay. He looks like my tax guy. <laughs> well, just looking at him is taxi. Yeah. You know? The object yeah. is to have a high card. Oh. Anyways, basically the premise is you need to get the highest card. Highest card wins. And he gives you a card. He'll switch it out if you want it to. Um, basically, what I do here is click on a button before it appears. That's all. The loser has to pay one cent Shut up. I hate you, Willie McVie. Eight cents. Ten picture cards and aces all cost ten cents. Everybody got. It them. looks like someone is stimulating his face with electrodes. Okay. Like it's like that's not how okay. a face is supposed to work. So there we go. I clicked on the invisible button. I should have the higher card. No! Ah, Willie McVie, I hate you. Like what's weird? What's weird is that you have to learn to play I don't band? know. <laughs> Seriously, I was practicing that Ready. for so long, and I thought I got it. Okay. There we go. So as soon as I win, uh, as soon as I win, I just shoot him. Cause why not? Oh no! <laughs> no one likes Willie. <laughs> no one likes Willie McVie. I'm fine with this. Okay. So pretty intense scene right here. I really love that title card. Do you have the right time, old man? Is that Mayim Bialik? No. <laughs> <laughs> is that Mayim Bialik? <laughs> okay. So the rest of this is basically grinding for a little bit. If you want, you can read a comment. All right. Um, I have a $100 donation here from Slow Beef, who says, 
Thanks for fighting a terrible disease with a terrible game. <laughs> I decided to donate equal to the game's budget, but that seems cheap, so I added an extra zero. <laughs> Have a drink on, beh on, me, on behalf of me and the rest of the Red Supre crew. Thank you, Slow Beef. Um, Thank you, Slow Beef. Hey, he's back. Ed Lincoln says thanks. Uh, for, those who, for those of us who don't know who Slow Beef is, do you want to explain who that is? Oh, yeah, Slow Beef. I'm um, part of Red Supre, which is a poor pronunciation of Let's Play. Um, they basically watch Let's Plays and make fun of them, and this was one of them. Which I didn't watch all the way through, I'm gonna be honest, because I saw like one minute of this and I was like, I have to play this myself. So. Uh, that is very telling of your tastes, Bro Sancho. Uh huh. Okay, uh, let's talk to this guy. Tell me, old timer, what's this spider of yours called? Well, I call him Squishy. <laughs> he named the spider Squishy. How fitting. Okay. Massive jerk. <laughs> You killed him. So, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> Sense. Right, Take ten paces up the street, then turn and shoot. Now, for some reason, he shoots before it okay. even shows him. <laughs> but I got him. I'm not pleased about this at all. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect take. Okay, one more guy to kill. Just one more. He shot for you. He's holding his gun. Yeah. Thank you, Mr. Diablo. Okay. By the way, I go to the station because it has the fastest animation to go there and then come back. The second fastest one is the store. But I think the guy in there is really creepy, so I'm fine that it's the station. Okay, you can't last shoot guy. Him, right? Look at his gun. You've shot my entire gang, and to be perfectly honest with you, I'm a bit annoyed about the situation. Is that? Let's get is that started. Dio? <laughs> who? <laughs> and like Ronnie James Dio hair. Oh, it's did you just who Dio? <laughs> <laughs> All right, time time to shoot him. Is this the final boss? Final boss. Final boss. Time right now. Bam. <laughs> oh, final lines here. We got to find out about the town. Billy Bob? You mean you're not Billy Bob? No, I'm just a drifter. I came here to Dodge Gulch to meet my sister. Dodge Gulch? You mean this isn't Dodge Gulch? <laughs> nah, Dodge Gulch is the next stop. 20 miles down the line. Oh, oh well, these things happen, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Part of life's rich tapestry. Shall we go and get a whiskey? Why not? I'm buying. With all the reward money I got for shooting your friends. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it. Down with no name, folks. Oh, 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 I gotta show the credits, right? Oh, that's right. Okay, full credits right here. <laughs> and there are the credits. <laughs> wow. Thank you, everyone. Glad Thank you could join. Uh, Ladies and gentlemen, I think we just learned why this block is called Awful Games Done Quick. <laughs> Thank you to Bro Sentia for that very educational trip around the Wild West. Mm. I'm okay. going to go ahead and throw it to a quick commercial break on this side. I'm going to come back. Skinner will be back with you in all her glory. Thank you very much, folks. We'll see you on the other side.